All right, this is it. We're doing it. We are talking about Lightroom versus Photoshop. What are the differences? Which one should you use? Let's get into it. So about a year ago, I made a video titled, what should you use Premiere Pro or After Effects? And overall it was pretty well received, but I think some people misunderstood what I was talking about because some people seem to think I was inferring that you could only use one or the other for any given task. Whereas I specifically mentioned they work really well together, the both of them, but they do have different jobs. That was the point of that video. It wasn't to say one is always better than the other. And the same goes for this video. I'm not saying you should only ever use Lightroom or you should only ever use Photoshop or one is inherently better than the other, we're just going to be talking about which one you should use depending on the scenario, and sometimes the answer is both of them. Also, before we get into it, I'd just like to remind you guys that you can find all my social media links in the description. I've been posting on TikTok and Instagram a lot recently. You can find both those in the description if you want to give me a follow. And you can also find all my Amazon gear links down in the description if you're interested in any of the equipment I use. All right, so firstly, let's talk about what Lightroom is good at. Lightroom's biggest strength by far is its ability to manage and organize your files. Not only does Lightroom help you organize your photos on import on your computer, but once you're actually in Lightroom with your images, you can organize them by collection, break them down, have them in different categories. You can create different copies of the same image for different edits. You give your images star ratings from one to five, or color labels, or you can flag them. All these tools are here to help you decide whether it's gonna be a good photo or you wanna save it for later, or maybe that one's for Instagram, or maybe you wanna crop it a certain way for this style. There's all these tools in place to help you manage a large number of files. And these tools help you go through all your images and select out the good ones and not worry about the bad ones. So you can just focus on the good images and not the one you accidentally took of the floor because you were holding the camera a weird way. So you can just import all your photos into one collection, then go through, put a star on all the photos that you want to edit, and then go through and edit them. And you don't have to worry about scrolling through all the bad ones or worrying about where your files are located because they're all right there in the collection you created. Now Lightroom is really all you need if the only thing you're doing are some basic edits and corrections. Lightroom is actually a pretty powerful editing tool and over the years they've been slowly introducing some Photoshop features into Lightroom so that you don't necessarily always have to be going into Photoshop. So if you're just doing some raw photo editing and you're just correcting things like white balance, exposure, contrast, or you want to add more stylistic things like changing the hue of some colors, adding a curves adjustment, maybe adding some stylistic colors in the shadows and highlights, then Lightroom's perfect for that. Lightroom's also good for basic local adjustments and for basic like clone stamping and uh, getting rid of blemishes on people's faces or objects in the backgrounds. But we're going to come back to that later because Photoshop is much better at those things. So if you just want some good file management and basic edits, Lightroom will be perfect. Another great thing about Lightroom, especially for beginners, is Lightroom has non-destructive photo editing. So what does that mean? Well, it means that Lightroom is saving the adjustments you make to the photo separately from the photo. Now this doesn't change how you edit your photo, but all it means is that Lightroom is always saving that original RAW file. You're never overwriting or ruining that original RAW file by doing edits, and you can always go back to what you started with. So this is great if you've edited a photo and you wanna come back to it at a later date and do a new edit of it, or maybe you just don't really know what you're doing yet and you edit the photo in a way that you really don't like and you wanna redo it, it's easy. You just hit the reset button and you're back to your original RAW file. No matter what, Lightroom is always saving that original photo, which is great. Photoshop does not have these safeguards in place, so if you want to do non-destructive editing in Photoshop, it means saving your original layers before editing them, or only making adjustments on specific adjustment layers and not on the actual image that you have. Because once you make those adjustments, I mean, you can hit the undo button, you can control Z a few times, but if you did that edit a while ago, there's no going back. Another pro for Lightroom is that, for the most part, it uses less computing power than Photoshop. So if your computer isn't as super capable of editing, like it's not, you don't have some super computer, you just maybe are doing this on your laptop because uh, you just want to get into Photoshop a little bit and you're just on your basic laptop for school or something like that, Lightroom is probably going to run a little bit smoother than Photoshop will. That being said, they both kind of suck for optimization. Adobe does not do a great job of optimizing their programs, but out of the two, Lightroom is probably a little easier to run. Another bonus with Lightroom is that if it's your thing, it syncs with Creative Cloud very easily. So if you want to view the same photo on multiple computers, or you're just the type of person that likes to keep everything saved to the cloud, uh, Lightroom makes that a lot easier than Photoshop. 
All right, so those are the good things about Lightroom. Now, what are the good things about Photoshop? Well, to start things off, Photoshop has a plugin called Camera Raw. So if you drag and drop a raw file into Photoshop, it'll come up automatically. You can also choose it from the filter section, but it is basically Lightroom within Photoshop. Now the interface looks different, but it allows you to do all of the exact same adjustments that Lightroom allows you to do. So this means if you absolutely do not care about file management, then Photoshop kind of does everything, just not the file management, <laughs> because you literally have the exact same controls in Photoshop that Lightroom has, plus all the extra things Photoshop has. So if you're just editing a one-off file every now and then, and you don't need that specific file management, like maybe you don't have hundreds of photos you need to filter through, maybe you just have one photo that someone sent you and you need to do a quick edit on, then maybe Photoshop would be better for you. Now Photoshop and Lightroom both have the ability to do local adjustments, which means applying an adjustment just to a certain area of the image. And they also have the ability to do clone stamping and healing and whatever you want to call, you know, copying and pasting one part of the image to another part to cover something up. They both have those abilities and this is just my opinion, I guess, but the way Photoshop handles it is just so much easier to use. I'm not sure what it is about the way Lightroom does clone stamping. I just hate it. With the layer system in Photoshop, it's just so much easier to manage your clone stamping and local adjustments because you can just do an adjustment on a different layer and apply a layer mask to the area that you want it to affect, which in my opinion is a little more complicated if you don't necessarily know what you're doing in Photoshop yet. But once you understand how it works, is just so much more intuitive than Lightroom. Photoshop's ability to work with individual layers and edit things separately is so much better for local adjustments and just in general, applying any kind of edit to an image is just a lot easier when you can just separate out those layers and apply things to very specific parts of your photo. Lightroom just doesn't really have that capability. And Photoshop is 100% necessary. Lightroom can't even put up a fight when it comes to any kind of special effects, compositing, anything where you're combining several images together into an edit or doing any kind of creative effects to your photo. Photoshop just blows Lightroom out of the water. Lightroom's not even, it's, Lightroom's just not made for that kind of thing. Whereas you can add so many different layers and customization in Photoshop, it's ridiculous. So if you wanna do any special effects or creative effects, other than just simple edits, Photoshop is definitely where you should be going. All right, so now we understand that both Photoshop and Lightroom, they, they have their strong points, they have their weak points, and that's kind of on purpose because they're not really meant to be doing the same things. They're two different programs made by the same company and they work really well together. Now I use both of these programs on a regular basis and the way I use both of them is by importing and managing all of my files through Lightroom. So say I take 100 photos at a photo shoot. Well, I'm going to import those through Lightroom, use Lightroom to choose where I'm gonna put those photos on my computer, then add them into a collection within Lightroom so I can keep track of them, then go through Lightroom, select all the good and bad ones, do all of my basic edits to those images, and then anything where I need a lot of clone stamping or a lot of local adjustments, or I wanna do something specific like frequency separation, then it's as easy as pressing Control or Command E and on whatever image you have selected and Lightroom will just automatically open that up in Photoshop. Then you do your adjustment in Photoshop, save it as is, and that all those adjustments will come back into Lightroom and you can view that separate file in Lightroom. They work so well together that it's not even, you don't even really need to fight about which one's better because they really are made to be used together. Now, if you're just starting out with photography, and editing your photos, I would definitely recommend just getting into Lightroom first and not worrying about Photoshop quite yet because Photoshop has a lot of tools that you probably aren't going to be using right now and it can just get a little confusing. But Lightroom is a great way to help you start managing your files because if you're just using Photoshop and trying to manually make sure all your RAWs are in one place and all your edits are in one place and you know you have to keep everything separate, and, but you want it to be in the same place and you want to remember the name of the shoot and the date it happened, you really need to manage your files, okay? So Lightroom is a great way to get you in the practice of that because it has a lot of features to just automatically sort and manage your files. So Lightroom is necessary if you want any kind of file management. But if you just edit single images occasionally and you maybe want to do some more creative visual effects, then definitely look into Photoshop because that's probably going to be the one for you. That being said, there's no scenario where you really need to choose one over the other because Adobe has a subscription option for photography where you get Lightroom and Photoshop 
for the same price as if you were just going to buy one program. So really there's no reason not to use both if that's what you need. I use both all the time. It's just about knowing which one is right for the scenario you're in. But that's all I got for you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Uh, again, all my social media links and everything in the description if you want to check that out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh.